Hello everyone. Now, it has been a really long time since I last made a video talking about Xbox. Now, if you do not know, I love Xbox. I have loved Xbox for really most of my life, ever since I played the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the original Xbox. Now, this entire generation, people have basically crapped all over Xbox because this generation did not start off that well with Xbox. However, the Xbox One X has actually become my favorite console of all time. Like, I love that console so much. And today I want to talk about my top 5 best things that Xbox has done this entire generation. And why even with how this gen started with X with Xbox, why I think overall it was pretty good for Xbox. Now these are all just my personal opinions on what Xbox has done. So let's get started. Now the first thing on this list is the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, Xbox made a controller that is basically... They bas they made it for people who cannot hold a controller with. People who have disabilities, and it allows them to be able to play video games just like everyone else. Even, even though they might... Uh, even though they might have issues holding a controller, this controller allows them to play it. I, I am honestly surprised... I don't see more people praising Xbox and Microsoft for this because no other company has made a adaptive controller for like people with disabilities and it is honestly awesome that they did this. Personally, I'm never going to use it, but it's not for me. I can use the controller just fine. Now, when the Xbox One first came out, it was the, the console wasn't extremely powerful. It, it was pretty powerful, but not really powerful. And the PS4 was definitely more powerful than it. However, Xbox fix, like, fixed this extremely by having the Xbox One X come out. And it was the world's most powerful console. Until that... It was the mo world's most powerful console until the Xbox Series X came out. Honestly, games look fantastic on the Xbox One X. And even though I personally have an Xbox One S... I have seen what games look like on the X, and they look beautiful, whether it be Halo, or Sea of Thieves, or even Gears 5. Games just look amazing on the Xbox One X. Now, even though there are people who believe that... For some reason, people believe that people just don't play old video games, which I don't understand. I play a lot of old games, honestly, and a lot of my favorite games are older games, so... I don't know why people think this. However, Xbox having backwards compatibility is one of the best things that Xbox has ever done, honestly. With backwards compatibility, I can play three whole generations of Xbox games with enhanced visuals on like some of them. and I can play three whole generations on one console. Honestly, the one downside of this is the fact that because of backwards compatibility, I very rarely go back to the Xbox 360, and when I do, it's simply because... A game is not backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Throughout this video, you'll see footage of Red Dead Redemption One, and that's because of backwards compatibility. I'm because of backwards compatibility, I'm able to play that game on the Xbox One, and I'm having a blast with it. I love that game, and honestly, it's one of the best things that Xbox has ever brought is backwards compatibility. Another great thing Xbox has done is not only allowing backwards compatibility, but they also have Game Pass, which allows you to play any game you want for free, basically, if it's on, like, the service. Now, best way to describe Game Pass is basically the Netflix of gaming. And and I, I know some people might not want to accept that, but that is true. It's the Netflix of gaming. But honestly, this is one of the best things about it, is that Xbox has... One of the best things Xbox has ever done because all you have to do is pay the money on to get the service, basically like how you pay for like Netflix, and then you can play and download every game that's on Game Pass. You don't have to pay; you get it for free, and basically all you have to do is pay for like basically have to pay a monthly fee in order to, but not not a monthly fee. You basically got to yeah pay in order to use it, but and that lasts for a certain amount of time. Game Pass has allowed me to play games that normally would have taken me forever to play, like Hellblade, Gears 5, Jump Force, Witcher 3, and even Metro 2033, which I love. 
The Game Pass is just so fantastic. And I honestly don't understand why people hate on it. Now, the best thing that Xbox has ever done, and no one can argue with me about this, is having Phil Spencer become the person in charge of the Xbox brand. Not only did he show Microsoft that Xbox is a great thing to have them spend money on, but he also made Game Pass, the adapting controller, backwards compatibility. Many studios have actually joined Xbox because of Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer wasn't the... Like, honestly, saying that Phil Spencer wasn't the best thing to happen to Xbox is like the biggest lie in the world. Because he has done so much for Xbox that... More than anyone, honestly, and I think one of the best things that describes that is, look at, there's a picture where it's like, like Xbox Studios before Phil Spencer, then after, and there's so much new studios with Phil Spencer. Now, I am, I am against exclusives, but I can't deny the things that Phil Spencer has done getting more studios to make games for Xbox. Now, I love Xbox so much, and I always will. And now, sadly, at this moment, I do not have an Xbox Series X or S. I'm most likely going to get the S. However, I do not have it yet. I am I am extremely excited for it. I really can't wait to get one, simply for my love of Xbox. I'm hoping to make a lot more videos and about Xbox, and I can't wait to just talk a lot more about this console and not console war stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go play the Xbox One S now. See you guys all later.